Hey, Dale, how was the doctor's appointment? Did you get any of that whole sleep situation figured out? Ugh, I don't know. She's going to have me try out this new medicine, Cloudata. Cloudato? Isn't that the new insomnia drug that makes people sleepwalk and stuff? She said that only happens with some people and that I shouldn't worry about it. Oh, so you shouldn't worry about it. Okay then, that's great. I guess that settles it then. I know, but if it even has a 1% chance of working on this trip, it's worth it, right? I mean, we've been looking forward to this music festival for months. I know, and I'd hate to see it ruined by you just not being able to sleep. I know how much you love Hats on Parade. Well, don't you? I mean, they're only the best jam band going right now. Well, that's certainly what I hear, if you're into jam bands. What, you aren't? Well, it's just that sometimes they can go on a little... too long, you know? It's called a jam band, after all, Louise. Jamming is kind of in the job description. I'm just saying, it would be nice if somebody had a wrap it up sign or something. So anyway, are you all packed and ready to go? Yep, totally set. Are you actually packed, though, or are you Louise packed? And what's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Even nothing is something. It's just that it usually seems when we're going on a trip, you get all packed, and then halfway down the road you realize you forgot something. Uh, that is not true at all. Come on, it's true. You can admit it. I would admit it if it was true. Give me an example and then we'll talk. Okay, um, let me think. Don't hurt yourself. How about when we went to Portland? Portland, Maine, or Portland, Oregon? Maine? And you forgot your special lobster bib? The one your aunt from New England made for you when you were a kid? It was of sentimental value. I wanted to use it at least once. The thing was the size of a napkin. I'm sorry that you don't have any sentimental attachment to anything in your own family, but some of us do. Oh, please. Anyway, is the car all set up? All set up and ready to go. What about the hotel reservations? The Hilton Garden Inn in Kansas City. We can stay a night there, then be right back on the road. It's going to be a long couple of days, but a beautiful drive. I swear, I prefer driving. With all the hassles of flying these days, who needs it? Well, I guess we'll find out, hon. Be home soon. Well, Dale, you're not going to believe this. Yeah, you aren't either. I can't find a spot in this entire hotel parking lot. Is there some kind of a convention in town or something? Yep, there is, actually. The American Association of Orthodontists are holding their annual convention here this weekend. Oh, well, that explains it then. Yes, it does. And it also explains why they are booked solid, and so is every other decent hotel in town. But what do you mean? I thought we had reservations. I thought we did too, but apparently we don't. What do you mean, apparently we don't? How is that even possible? You got online, you typed in all the information, you made the reservation, right? Yes, but they don't have it, Dale. I don't know how else to explain it to you. I don't know what happened. The man here is telling me that they simply do not have the reservation, so I don't know what to do. Don't we have a confirmation number or something? I thought we did. You thought we did? What does that mean? Well, I, I guess I didn't double check for the confirmation email or something. You didn't double check for the confirmation email? Did you first check for it? Look, I was a little distracted, okay? Distracted with what? I'd sure like to hear this. Distracted from trying to perfectly pack for you, okay? Come on, are you serious? You couldn't be bothered to confirm our hotel reservations because you were worried about packing for me? Maybe you shouldn't overreact and get so pissed off about the little things on vacation. Then I wouldn't be on edge all the time and forget everything I'm supposed to do. Okay, let's not turn on each other. Let's save that for when things get really bad. Good plan as usual, Dale. So what are we going to do? How do you know that all the hotels in Kansas City are booked? Because I called every major one. You called every major hotel in the Kansas City area in the last few minutes? Me in the front desk. Oh, hmm. I see. So I guess we're going to have to start considering a minor hotel? Uh, motel? I know that isn't what we're accustomed to, but perhaps we could get off our high horses for a night. All we're going to be doing is sleeping there, after all. 
Yeah, I guess so. Uh, actually, no, I guess not. How will I be able to sleep in one of those places? I mean, I have a hard enough time sleeping as it is without having a door that goes to the outside, where a bunch of meth dealers are hanging out. So what do you suggest? Sleeping in the car? Ugh. Hello, this is the Hilton Helpline. Ricky Capo speaking. How may I help you today? Um... Hello, my name is Louise Milhouse, and I'm inquiring about a lost reservation. Aha, I see. That is very unfortunate indeed. Uh, here at the Hilton Garden Inn, we strive for excellence. So I hope to rectify your situation in any way I can. Well, um, our situation certainly could use some rectifying. Please explain. Well, the thing is, Mr. Gabo. Please, call me Ricky. Okay, um, Ricky... Well, the thing is, my husband and I were supposed to be booked at the Hilton Garden Inn in Kansas City, but they have no record of our reservation. Oh, I see. Well, that is very unfortunate. It would be unusual for such a thing to have happened with our current system. Unusual or not, Ricky, it happened. May I have your confirmation number? Um, well, the thing is, I kind of can't find the email with the confirmation number in it. You cannot find the number? The confirmation number for your room booking? No, I... I don't think it was ever sent, actually. Well, ma'am, if the confirmation email was never sent, then your reservation was never confirmed. Now, was it? Yes, but I made the reservation. Apparently, you did not. If the reservation was not confirmed, it was not made. But that simply isn't true. I made the reservation. I remember doing it. The confirmation emails are automatically sent. If you didn't receive one, you should have pursued the matter. I don't understand. I made the booking. Apparently, you did not. So because I didn't get the stupid confirmation email, you're going to leave us out to dry like that? Have you checked to see if your credit card was charged for the room? Yes, as a matter of fact, I have checked. And? Well, um, it wasn't charged, but it should have been. I am sorry, but... This call can serve no further purpose. Goodbye. W what Ugh. Super Six, what do you want? Um, hi, is this the Super Six Motel? Well, now, that's what I just said, isn't it? Um, right, sorry, I guess I just wasn't sure. What, you thought it was some other Super Six or something? The Super 6 Laundromat, the Super 6 Garden Warehouse. Um, I'm really not sure. Anyway, do you have any rooms available? Oh, wait, let me guess. You're some uppity tourist who couldn't get a room in one of the nicer hotels. So you're coming to the other side of the tracks to see how the other half lives. Where the idioms are two for the price of one? Excuse me? What the heck did you just call me? Nothing. I, I didn't mean anything by it. Well, we've got a room for you, as long as you can stop yourself from using those 50-cent words around here. It frightens some of our long-term residents. Long-term residents? You mean, you have people living there? At the motel? Of course we do. Ain't you ever stayed at a Super 6 before? Henrietta and Pete's been living in 201 for four months now. That's... Really depressing. They don't have anywhere else to go. Well, we can't all be as fortunate as you. Now, do you want a room or not? Um, yeah, I, I guess so. And how long will you be staying with us? Just how long will we be blessed with your presence? Just for the night, and we'll be leaving first thing in the morning. Uh-huh, I bet you will be. What do you mean by that? I bet that you won't be able to wait to get out of a place like this. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, ma'am. And how many in your party will we be blessed with? Um, just my husband and myself. Oh, your husband. Is that so? Well, yes. Is that a problem? Are husbands not allowed at this particular establishment or something? Just make sure to keep him in line is all I'm saying. I'll be sure to do my best. Any pets? Not counting my husband? Very funny, ma'am. Very funny, indeed. All right, we have a room for you. It's two double beds. Is that all right with you? Fine, whatever it is, we don't care. 
All right, it's 50 bucks, cash or card, but preferably cash. Really, $50, that's it? Yeah, take it or leave it. Um, okay, I, I guess we'll take it. So are you gonna be here soon or what? Because I've got Golden John here who wants a room too and I ain't gonna save it much longer. Golden John? Don't ask. Dale, where are you? I just woke up to go to the bathroom and your snores were suspiciously missing. Um, who is this? It's Louise, Dale. Who else would it be? Where are you? What's going on? Oh, hey, Louise. Sorry, I didn't recognize you. Recognize me? Where are you? Oh, uh, I couldn't sleep, so I just decided to go for a little bit of a walk outside. You decided to go for a little bit of a walk around this place? Yeah, that's what I just said, isn't it? But why? Why would you go for a walk around this place, Dale? You know how dangerous it is. I don't know. I couldn't sleep. I figured some exercise might do me some good. Those stupid pills certainly weren't helping. So you took the Claudata, and it didn't do anything for you? Well, it kind of gave me this, like, fuzzy, floaty feeling, but it didn't put me out. Not even the second one. Wait, you took another one? Uh, I think it was just one. You forgot? Well, look, I'm really tired, okay? I did most of the driving yesterday, remember? Dale, you're probably sleepwalking or something. Huh? But I'm awake. I'm talking to you, aren't I? You're probably just blacked out from those pills. Blacked out? No way. Can you find your way back to the room, Dale? It's 3.06, remember? Yeah, yeah. I'll be up there eventually. Eventually? What do you mean, eventually? I'm just really enjoying the night air, Louise. Maybe you should come out and check out the stars with me. They really are quite something. Dale, there is no way that I'm going to leave this motel room until dawn. You can count on that. All right, then fine. Suit yourself. Look, just come back to the room, okay? I'll rub your back until you fall asleep or something. Nah, I'm good. You're good? What do you mean you're good? I just mean that I think I'm going to stay out here for a while and enjoy the stars. It looked quite beautiful from the roof. The roof? You're on the roof? Well, not anymore. What kind of a drug is this that your doctor gave you? I don't know, but it's pretty cool. Ugh, I knew I should have made you stop going to that quack a long time ago. Don't worry about it. I'll come in and get some sleep in just a little bit, okay? But Dale, it isn't safe out there. Dale, where are you? I'm out here looking for you and I can't find you anywhere. I'm finding a lot of other stuff, though. Oh, yeah? Like what? Who cares? Just tell me where you are already. I just met these really cool dudes out back, uh, Jose and Perry. Wait, what? You mean guys outside? Yeah, and they are really nice, too. You should meet them. Um, forgive me for not wanting to meet Jose and Perry of the Kansas City Super 6 Motel, Dale. Uh, that's kind of elitist of you, isn't it? Dale, don't you understand? You're in the middle of a blackout from that medicine. You aren't yourself right now. I'm fine, okay? The sky is only a little bit green. You said the sky is... green? Only a little bit green, I said. The sky is supposed to be black, Dale. It's two in the morning. Wait, you're outside now too? Of course I am. I told you I was going to come and look for you. But it's really dangerous out here, Louise. I don't think you should be out here. I know, Dale. That's what I've been saying to you this whole time. Well, why don't you come and hang out with Juan and Perry and me? They have the crock pot going, a case of beer. We're having a little party. No, Dale. I am not having any little party with you or anyone else tonight. Please, just come back to the room already. Well, I'm sorry, hun, but I can't. Perry's about to order a movie and the pizza's almost here. The pizza? I thought you said they were cooking in a crock pot. Oh, well... Whatever, babe. Uh, talk to you later. Dale! Hello, Sheila. This is Louise Millhouse in room 306. Um, okay. Well, there is a very urgent matter that needs attending to. Oh, great. What does this queen need? Her pillow's fluffed. A chocolate on the pillow? No, I need my husband back. You need him back? Well, where is he gone? I don't know. He's someplace on the motel grounds. Don't you have any security system or anything? Security system? Well, 
We do have closed circuit cameras, but good luck getting those to work. Um, what do you mean? It's just that I don't even know if those cameras are even real or not. You don't know if the cameras are real? Look, I'm sorry that you can't find your husband, ma'am, but it wouldn't be the first time that one has gone missing here. Um, what's that supposed to mean? Well, if you haven't noticed, Louise, this isn't exactly the Ritz. Sometimes people do go missing, you know? Okay, this doesn't make any sense. What kind of a place is this that people just go missing? Um, it's a Super 6 motel. What do you think it is? This is just ridiculous. None of this makes any sense. Well, I'm sorry that your husband has gone missing, but I guess... Join the club. But there's dangerous people around here. I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you, Louise, but it sounds like your husband is up to no good. What? Well, I'm just saying that if he wandered off at this motel, you've got some serious problems in your marriage to be dealing with. Oh yeah? Like what kind of problems are those? Well, he's probably on drugs for one. What? Is he? Is he what? Is he on drugs? Um, he may be having a slight mishap with his medication is all. Oh, I see. A mishap, huh? So he is on drugs. Look, we're trying to get it figured out, okay? He has really bad insomnia. Insomnia, sure. Isn't there anything you can do for me? Call the police or something. Uh, the police. Do you really think that the police come out here anymore, Louise? The police is more scared of this place than even you are. Believe that. Thanks for your help, Sheila. Anytime, Louise. Dale, I'm out here walking the outdoor hallways, or whatever it is you call it. Oh yeah, oh, that sounds pretty cool. They're like, always. They're like what? You know, outdoor hallways. Dale, would you please just tell me where you are so I can get you back to bed? I'm really concerned. You don't have anything to be concerned about, okay? I'll be back to the room after I'm done with the card game. The card game? What card game? What are you talking about? The card game with Juan and Perry. We're playing poker in their room. And which room is that, Dale? Do you think you could maybe ask them? Um, okay. Hold on. Well? They said they didn't know. They don't know what room they're in either? What do you want me to say? It's true. I'm not quite sure you're grasping the situation here, honey. Grasping it? Yeah, um, you're on drugs, dear. No, I'm not. I told you that sleeping stuff had no effect on me, remember? Um, I think it may have had some effect on you. Like what? I told you, you're blacked out. You probably won't even remember any of this in the morning. I am not blacked out. I'm talking to you, aren't I? Dale, you have got to get away from those two guys. Who? Juan and Perry? But they're such nice guys. What's the problem? I'm not so sure that they're very nice guys, though. Oh, just because they're staying at a Super 6, they aren't very nice guys? Do you know how messed up that sounds, Louise? I'm just a little bit worried that your new friends may be trying to take advantage of you is all. Well, they aren't, and it's like really elitist of you to think that, okay? I am not trying to be an elitist, Dale. I am just trying to keep you alive. Same thing. Huh? Look, they're really good guys. Do you want to talk to Juan? He's really cool. No, Dale. I do not want to talk to Juan. I want to go back inside and go to sleep. Hello, this is Juan. Is this Louise? Um, yes, this is Louise. Oh, it is so nice to finally get a chance to talk to you. Dale here has been telling us all about you. Oh, he has, has he? Yes, he is very much an excellent guest and a wonderful card player. Dale is a wonderful card player? Oh, well now I know that you're a criminal. Excuse me? How dare you call me a criminal? The only thing that my Dale has ever won at cards is nothing. If you say he's good, either you're terrible or you're playing him. But we are doing nothing of the sort. We're simply having a good time playing cards. Uh-huh, just eating from whatever's in that crock pot of yours and drinking beers, huh? Precisely. Well, you do know that Dale is on medication, don't you? He's on medication? What kind of medication? Sleeping medication, and it could be very dangerous for him to be mixing them with alcohol. Oh, um, well then we'll cut him off. Look, Juan, or whatever your name is, I, I don't have time for this. Oh, you don't? 
No, we're supposed to be at a music festival in Colorado tomorrow night. We have reservations at a nice hotel there. Oh, so you're too good for us poor motel people then. What? No, I didn't say that. Dale said you were judgmental, but I didn't know you would be that way to my face. He said I was being judgmental? When did he say that? Uh, I don't know. Um, I can't remember. Oh, well, isn't that convenient? At, at least you're loyal. Look, could you please just put Dale back on for me? Um, I would, but I don't know where he went. You don't know where he went? What do you mean you don't know where he went? Well, um, I was just playing cards with him, and I turned around, and he was gone, and the door is open. Oh, well, isn't that just great? You turned around and he was gone? That's just how it happened, okay? I don't know what else you want me to say. Thanks a lot for your help, Juan. Dale, where are you? I'm getting really scared here, okay? Your friends said that they couldn't find you anywhere. Louise, Louise, I'm scared. Oh no, Dale, what's going on? How can I help you? I, I don't know where I am. It's someplace really dark. I, I think I'm in some kind of a box or something. A box? What do you mean a box? I feel something smooth, like walls. Oh my god, honey, has someone put you in a box or something? Are you being held prisoner? Wait a minute. There's a light somewhere. I can see it. There's a light? Okay, great. Follow the light then, Dale. Follow the light. Okay, I'm following it. It's... it's a door. Open it, Dale! Open it! Okay, I'm gonna open it. Well, uh, what is there? It's... it's... our room. Wait, what do you mean it's our room? That's funny. What is funny, Dale? Well, it appears that I was in the closet the entire time. Wait a minute. You were in our closet? The closet in the motel room? Uh, well, I, I was just then, at least. But what about Juan and Perry? I talked to Juan. Um, I guess I was dreaming it. I don't know. Or hallucinating. E either way, I'm going to tell my doctor that this Claudata isn't working either. I can't be sleepwalking in a motel. Who knows where I could end up? Uh, where are you, anyway? Uh... Oh man, Louise, you missed the best set that Hats on Paradise is like, ever done, I swear. Oh yeah? Well, I'm sorry that I missed that. So are you still feeling tired, or do you want to sit in the car for a little bit longer? I mean, either is okay. Well, thanks a lot for giving me the option. Look, I'm really sorry that you were up all night looking for me when I was actually just blacked out in the closet. I appreciate that. If it's any consolation, when I did go back to bed, I ended up getting some of the best sleep of my life. I'm delighted for you. So I said I was hanging out with some guys named Juan and Perry, huh? Having yourself a little party. So, on the way back... Don't worry, I've already booked a room and gotten the confirmation email. You're sure? I'll show it to you later. And forward it to me? <sighs> yes, Dale. Okay, good. Just making sure. Well, at least I'm bound to get some decent sleep tonight. Why's that? After chasing you all around the Super 666? If you don't, I can always offer you a Claudata. No, thank you very much. And I don't want you having one of those either. What if I break it in half? I think it's maybe just a matter of dosage. So you only want to hang out with Perry instead of Juan, then? Well, from what I can remember, he was a little bit nicer. I don't think so. But what if I can't sleep? I'll rub your shoulders, and if that doesn't work, we can do a meditation. Louise. Yes, Dale. Thanks for putting up with me. It's okay, hon, and thanks for putting up with me. What are you kidding? I don't have to put up with anything. I've never had to get you out of hurricanes, or been witness to a murder, or gotten attacked by a vermin. I've actually forgotten about some of those things. You see, that's how crazy I am. I love you anyway. I love you too, Lulu. After making it safely to their Holiday Inn just outside of Topeka, Kansas, Louise rubbed Dale's shoulders until he quickly fell asleep. To her surprise, she too swiftly fell into a much-needed slumber. The next day, they drove home, and Louise convinced Dale to try some alternative methods to relieve his insomnia, to varying success. However, he has not seen or heard from Juan or Perry since.